Welcome to the second edition of ETV. Do you have any idea of your car's inner life? Probably not, because automobiles are highly complex electronic applications. But here at TE Connectivity, we'll be taking a closer look at this complexity, which brings us directly to today's topic, automotive. And we'll start by taking a look at the new developments in the field of sensors and batteries. Analog devices presents a high-resolution magnetic angle sensor. It is used, for example, in engine applications for power steering or braking systems. Here you could see a motor which is rotating, a shaft, and then our sensor element is mounted on the PCB and detects the position of the shaft as it rotates, uh, and this information is transferred back to a control unit. The better torque control from the sensor increases the efficiency and smooth running of the engine and reduces emissions and heat development. Panasonic presents its battery solutions for electric mobility. Panasonic has equipped the Model S from Tesla with more than 7,000 lithium-ion cells for an 85 kilowatt-hour capacity. These batteries are similar to those used in laptops. With a range of 500 kilometers, the Model S is therefore the most efficient electric car, and that's not the end of the road. We at Panasonic think that these batteries are the future of the automotive technology and we have here a strong cooperation with Tesla and we are building the Gigafactory in the US to extend the production worldwide basis from 2016. A key issue when it comes to automotive electronics is the interaction between driver and auto. And of course there are plenty of examples of that here at Electronica. AMS deals with the driver's safety. The autonomous driving assistant, hands-on detection system, can tell if the driver has at least one hand on the steering wheel. What we do is we have a capacitive sensor in this wheel, which you can actually see in this look-through windows, which is two stripes of metal, that actually detect the amount of water in your hand. So once you touch the wheel, as we demonstrate, the car starts driving in the background. You can actually steer it, it detects the steering motion, and once you get your hands off, it will automatically stop. In reality, the car warns the driver first. If he still doesn't put his hands back on the steering wheel, the car stops automatically. Vistion takes driver and car into new dimensions. Various cockpit systems offer information and entertainment programs, and even connect the car with the cloud. In the future, the car could go into the net autonomously and find updates for the smartphone, for instance. But the development is still in early stages. There are elements of it behind the scenes that are being enabled at a hardware and a software level, like telematic control units that enable you to have a modem in the car that connects all these cars to services. And that's the start, but then from there we build upon that to bring together a wireless gateway that enables us to connect to more things and enable more features. So this is only the beginning. Vistion already promises the security of all systems. They are protected against cyber attacks by constantly updated features. At Electronica, we encounter many product highlights, but sometimes it's the story behind the product which is truly moving, as in the case of the SAM project from Arrow. Together with various partners, the firm developed a car for the former race car driver, Sam Schmidt. Since sustaining an injury in a training accident, he's been paralyzed from the neck down. So Sam, how did Aero make it possible for you to drive a car again? Very intuitive, very normal. I tilt my head to the left, the car goes to the left, tilt to the right, right, go backwards, it speeds up, right. and then I wear a mouthpiece and that's how I brake. But what happens if you sneeze or something <laughs> when you're driving? Luckily they programmed about 10 movements out, so ah, okay. if I sneeze or I jerk my head or or, uh, you know, so your girl in a yeah, yeah. Uh, then uh, it, it doesn't it doesn't acknowledge those movements. So okay. it's way smarter than I ever thought about being. And to top it all off, they solved this age old problem of somebody like me driving in less than seven months. That's what's That's really amazing. impressive. And I mean, it must be a wonderful feeling for you to have that kind of autonomy again. Obviously, somebody with a disability, it's, it's a major sense of independence to potentially take my kids to school or, yeah. or you know, drive you know, anywhere. It's something we take for granted Absolutely. until we don't have it anymore. Yeah. And what's you know, truly amazing, the fact that this technology has the ability to help millions of people down the road and uh, is just truly fantastic and endless. 
as well as the interaction between car and driver, an important area of research in the electronics sector, is the communication initiated autonomously by the car itself. The long distance test, organized by NXP semiconductors and partner companies, will show just how far smart safety solutions have progressed. And the test kicks off live at Electronica. Together, politics, the economy and industry have created the ITS corridor. From 2015, the new technology will be tested live on the motorway between Vienna, Frankfurt Main and Rotterdam. So what we're going to be receiving here is some information on a V to X communication channel, which is a dedicated automotive form of Wi-Fi. And the car has a receiver and a transmitter, and the roadside units also have a transmitter. And that information is being transmitted to the car, and that's where you see these messages coming from. And this technology will be very uh, helpful to make driving safer and also more efficient. The first cars in production will be in 2016. And uh, we hope that we, it will uh, roll out uh, pretty quickly after that. Um, and this same technology is uh, being demonstrated and uh, rolled out uh, around the world. The future of the automobile is digital and electronic, as we've seen today on our tour of Electronica. And you can look forward to more enlightenment as the theme for tomorrow is lighting. Don't miss it.